Hi. So I crashed this birthday party, and this boy that I hadn't seen in whoa a few months. <laughs> it hasn't been that long. So he ran up to me, high fived, and then uh, he he wanted to to like sit or hug me and sit on me. And so as soon as he did that, I stood up, right? Uh, I don't know if I gave him a hug, but I think he backed up because I stood up. But then I couldn't back up because the chair doesn't move on the grass. So I put my foot on the chair. Now, I know I'm not supposed to put my foot on people's furniture, but <laughs> we were outside in the front yard. So this is just exciting, but, you know, it's... I wonder if anybody gives this boy a hug. Uh... I know he doesn't live with his dad. I know his stepdad probably doesn't give him a hug. Because you don't want to get accused, you know. Oh, you gave him a hug. You're probably feeling my son or something, you know. Touching my son. Um, for sexual purposes. So I think these... I think a lot of children... I even read about it. A girl, she said that... She was in a... Orphanage from 10 years old and up and she said nobody gave me a hug all those years nobody gave me a hug uh, she said this when she was 20 something and she mentions that was something that was missing like I give my daughter a sideways hug where I reach around well, I can't get the camera right. Let's see. Let's say, yeah, there's my arm. So I reach around and, and give her a hug like that. Let's see if I can do it with this side. Yeah. And she puts her head on my shoulder. I give her a kiss on the hair. You know, something like that. It's never a full front, front hug like this. <laughs> I give her a sideways hug. I avoid... Uh, standing face to face with another man also because they could kick you in the testicles so I avoid that I always stand sideways I remember one time I was asking for money from my boss because I didn't come in on the payday and I said uh, I just walked straight up to him And, uh, well, it's just, uh, I don't like walking up to people, you know. I really don't like walking up to people. All right. In this video, I'm going to talk about what am I manifesting? I have a plate here. All right, I wrote five things. One, I'm manifesting money by renting this efficiency. Now, I really like this room, though. Uh, we had one person call, but they don't come and ch check out the place. So I don't know what's going to happen. Two, Daniel's composting toilet. Now I did have, I do have a, a toilet for the dog now. Basically the dog does it everywhere and I scoop it up with a uh, shovel and put it in the, in the dirt. And it's inside a garbage can that I cut off the bottom of the garbage can. There's a video out there on, on someone that did that. And then I just cover the garbage can and I throw leaves on it. Inside the garbage can I throw leaves on it. But I haven't done that recently. And we, all, we only walk on the, on the concrete here because I believe that's a family activity. It's not just a, a one person here. We, all have, we do have about four shovels here, you know. At least three. Alright, I'm working on Daniel's shower. I want to make another shower. Uh, four, Daniel makes videos and organizes his books. Yeah, I'm doing that. Daniel makes videos with his son in Spanish. Yeah, we need to start doing that. Uh, 
basically I get a book in Spanish and we both read it that's how we um, practice our Spanish I always tell them that right now you live in the United States but later on you could travel and and I want more than travel I don't want like three days anywhere I want to like go for 30 go for a year over there have fun another thing that happens when you travel is for some reason you attract women they like you that's when I was younger too and handsome you know now I'm old and handsome <laughs> uh so yeah definitely everybody wants a girlfriend everybody wants a boyfriend just about everybody however what happens I mean I met so many girls in Europe right and it was only for a moment now if I was a carpenter I could go live in Europe or if I was a mechanic I could go live in Europe provided I I do what I need to do to find work over there and, and things like that and I could have a woman I mean it's just terrible that people get married at 30 instead of 20 or instead of 13 really but I don't know uh, at 13 I think is a good age for some of us for others what 16 15 by the way if you're a young person be careful if you're 16 years old and you have sex with someone that's 15 or 14 years old because the age of consent when I looked it up in the United States I, th I think it's 16 so you're allowed to say yes you want to have sex at 16 but nobody tells you this you're allowed to quit school at 16 which I highly recommend unless you're really learning something I mean I saw some videos about some trade schools and high schools and the kids really did learn how to fix cars and how to uh, build houses that is valuable what kept me out of carpentry class was the guy sitting next to me in class not in carpentry but in another class probably religion he cut off part of his finger and well that scared me I didn't want to go near that carpentry class and then the teacher he was very manly no smiles no come on in no, no, none of that he was so yes he knows this job he said he could make ninety thousand dollars a year from his from his carpentry skills wow that now that seems like a lot of money that's like a lot of money because I mean I remember that another teacher said he was worth twenty eight thousand dollars at a public school uh, well this is also back in 1990 or actually four years before or 1990 1986 to 1990 he was worth 28,000 in a public school for teaching which means he made less at the private school <laughs> if it's not a hundred thousand it's not enough I saw a video about women well, actually about men that go to Brazil black men that go to Brazil and they say they go because the women here are different and one woman on the uh, video she mentioned how if the man doesn't make at least seventy five thousand dollars a year because she's a doctor then I think she said something to the point that he's not making enough money she will have to take care of him and so a lot of these black educated women are single and the men the ones that are making enough to travel to Brazil once they go they, they, they want to stay one of them since 1980 
started Rio Rentals in Rio de Janeiro and he's just renting apartments to other US people that go travel over there because as one guy put it he said it's different we get respected here with women they just love men uh, they know it's only that I come three times a year or once a year but when you go to a restaurant they open up the you get a drink and then they put a uh, they put it in your glass they put a straw in it in the United States well the whole culture doesn't have that it's more like McDonald's you go get your own straw <laughs> it, it's different mm, service and usually service is given by women but it's a different society all right go learn something you're better than I am take care of yourself